Welcome back to Let's Play Euro Truck Simulator with me, Squawker. And when we left off, we'd made even more money, bringing us even closer to our goal of reaching the Netherlands. We need about 4,100 more euros, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be driving down to Euro Goodies and we're going to be um, picking ourselves up some more sweet, sweet goodies in order to transport somewhere or other so we can get to the Netherlands. So I need a load of that. It's worth at least 4,100 euros, so I'm not sure where this will take us, but as, uh, but I, uh, it's also imperative this time around. I uh, I don't annoy the police, I don't annoy anyone, you know, because I want to try and get Netherlands, like, uh, Netherlands available this episode. So here we go. What's the job like? What jobs are going? Um... Um... Let's have a look. Cities. Oh, here we are. Uh, one going to Bordeaux for 4,390. None for Brussels. Yeah, it looks like we're off to Bordeaux. So there's one here for 4,390. That works fine for me. So, um, yeah. Um, so, basically, I want no infractions with the police. I just do not. Um, I just don't want to. I just don't want to mess anything up. Because... You, what I want to do is, I just need to, careful, there we go, I just want to get to Bordeaux like a professional trucker, because that's what I am, even though I'm only ranked as an amateur, just get this job done. So let's have a look at the map, so we need we need to get out of Paris first, go down, it's all, we're off back down to E5, so then we can get out of here, so I think I just took the wrong turn to get out of here, but it's alright, professionals don't make mistakes, we just make strategic decisions. I strategically decided to go down this street so we could look at these cranes and then I'll just turn left here and that should make everything... Oh! Well done on ruining my... Well done on ruining me getting to the Netherlands this episode, you little ginger office shirt wearing bitch in an orange car. You're dead. You hear me? You're dead. Hey, hey! You know what? I want I want your registration because this is an insurance thing. See, S L S one two eight one six. I am ringing up the police um, when I get out of here, and I'm telling them that you are an asshole who crashed into me. You saw it as well. You saw it as well. You're all witnesses, both these cars and you, the viewer. She just ruined my life. I was, I was gonna, I was, well, yeah, simple as now. We're not gonna get Netherlands this episode, but we're gonna get closer. So I think the plan now will be I'm gonna get to Bordeaux this episode, and then I might take a load to Brussels, and then we can go right up to Amsterdam. It'll be fun. Oh, I really want to see what we can haul from Amsterdam, Am Amsterdamo as well. And yes, I am just putting two wheels on the pavement. What you're gonna do about it? So if we go straight on, we shall be back. Oh, careful! Don't want to get a red light offence now. All right, come on, come on. There we go. Right, off we go, off we go. Oh, careful, Van. That was a bit too close for my liking. I think so. everyone just seems to be very acts in a very entitled way in this road. Um, we're doing good for fuel, by the way. But I think I think at the first petrol station I find, I'm gonna take a nap. Because my energy is probably about 50% at the minute, so I think we're gonna I'm gonna get this guy off to sleep, so we can dream of trucking to Bordeaux. Even though this is probably like the one millionth time we've been to Bordeaux, but now that we're up at more of Europe as well, at least we get to go to new places. Um, I'm not sure which country we'll unlock next. Um, if if there's a country you want me to go to, um, do let me know, and I will. See how much it is, but if not, I'll probably just go for whatever's cheapest. So I think the next cheapest one might be Britain, um, which I, which I, which will be fun to go to. But let's see. Um, I didn't read a sign, but I think it's straight on to get onto the way to Bordeaux. You see, it's been a very long time since I've played Euro Truck Simulator because I didn't play it all because the last episode was just before FPS month started, and now FPS month has been over for about two weeks. And all I've been doing is playing Arkham Origins, Rome Total War, and Civilization V. Um, but yeah. 
I gotta get back into the trucking flow. All the usual squawker content is coming back now. We're coming back with more Euro Truck Simulator, Mountain Blade Warband, Minecraft Hardcore, and of course Harry Potter and the Quidditch World Cup. I've, I'm, I've I really gotta do more Harry Potter or Quidditch World Cup actually, because we were. I was getting. I was getting quite into that game to be honest. I mean, it was pretty. I mean, all right, the game's bad. As in. Pretty, it's a pretty bad game to be honest. If I was just if I was to look at a technical point, but to be honest, I think overall it is a pretty fun game. And my truck seems to be not going very fast. I think I think the amount of damage it's taking is starting to show. I think once we have the Netherlands unlocked, I'm going to buy some more repairs. But we are on the highways now, so I do remember how I edit these episodes. So yes, we are off into the clip show part. By the way, if you haven't noticed, I am using a new microphone, by the way. Um, since my old one was giving me a lot of havoc. Um, and it kind of ruined a lot of the first few episodes of Civilization V Series 2. Which I wasn't very happy about. Am I on the right road? Uh, I need to make the turn here. Um, but hopefully this one's working better now. I'm using a nice headset, so... Is it comfortably on here? The, the speakers are kind of weak though, so I have to have a volume right up so I can hear this game. Whoa! 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 Infraction much there, Mr. Blue Trucker? Infraction much? You all just saw that, he just bloody swerved his truck into me like a bumhole. I get no respect on these roads, no respect at all. No fucking respect for the man with the blue t-shirt, with a picture of some blackened lungs, and a very odd hairstyle choice, and very horrible moustache as well, which is also kind of creepy. Seriously, why didn't I get to create my own driver? That, that was that would have been such a cool feature. So then I don't have to. So then I don't have to drive around the creepiest person in the world in this truck. I could have driven the nicest person in the world, just not the fucking creepiest. <laughs> Okay, so my driver, who still suffers from extreme vampirism, by the way, must now sleep through the day because sunlight makes his skin melt. Right now, he is starting to crisp up and melt. And that, hey! That's the guy who bumped into me earlier. It is. Man, I wish I could get out of my car and, like, run my keys along his paintwork or something. Uh, you're, you're an enemy, Mr. Red Trucker. I don't see anyone in there, but I'm going to leave a whoopee cushion in there while I sleep, because you, sir, are annoying. Let's sleep. What time will it be? It's only 7 o'clock. Oh, and uh, feet report. Road Warrior, you have now crashed into 30 other vehicles. Great. It's nice to know I am now just basically a danger to, to everyone, and I've just scraped into him. That was my fault that time, but... I hope I damaged all his car going there and it all melted and burned and shit because screw him. Screw him. I mean, all I'm carrying is packaged food, so I'm assuming I'm just carrying a lot of crisps. You know, I've got I've got salt and vinegar, cheese and onion, Worcester sauce, ready salted, pickle onion, um, prawn cocktail, barbecue chicken, roast chicken, cheese and bacon crisps. All very, very, very tasty. Well, except salt and vinegar, because salt and vinegar tastes crap and makes my lips burn for some reason. Bum 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 bum. Sunset at the power plant. It's sunset at the power plant. Doesn't it look quite nice in the sunset? It looks kind of romantic. Seriously, it does kind of look romantic. It's nice. You know, it's just like sat there against the sort of coloured sky, which is a colour I can't. Oh, wait, it's orange, isn't it? 
Yeah, I don't know why I suddenly forgot on how to name colours, but yeah, it looks kind of nice in the sunset. I don't know. Sunsets tend to make most things look nice, actually. They just have that thing. Same kind of goes for sunrises, but I think sunsets do it better. I mean, look at that. All the pylons going into the sunset. You could make a cool album cover out of that for your acoustic guitar douchebaggery music album, which goes on about global warming and other things liberal people talk about like Barack Obama and how he's sort of like Jesus but there we go and I have to say it does look kind of cool in the night I mean well actually cool in the sunset but as the night draws it, it still looks kind of cool it's a nice modern building hell you could probably use that for a cool Call of Duty map you know what actually why isn't there a Call of Duty map set in a power plant yet and I mean, there probably are some, like, I don't know, some, but what you need is a map just set in, like, a modern nuclear power plant like that, but do it at night so we have to light up with floodlights and shit. It looks so cool. I'm going to write to Mr. Mister COD and actually ask him to put that in Black Ops 3, because we need that. it would be like launch, but at night, and launch is probably my favourite map off Black Ops 1, actually. I love me a bit of launch after a bit of lunch. Hey, I hang on. I'm pretty sure I have a yeah, it's him. Look, stop, 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 stop. How did my rival get over there in the wrong lane? Hmm, he's escaped fighting me for now. Anyway, I'll get him another day, because it looks like I'm holding up all of France right now. But it looks cool, you know, cars at night, all those little stoplights. I mean, headlights. Uh, but that idiot with the blue trailer and the salmon cabin. I'll get him another day. You know what, I'm starting to think I might need a new truck at some point. You know, this this one ain't no spring chicken anymore. It's done about I don't know. It's done about twenty something trips now. I mean, alright, that might not sound like a lot for a truck, but I need to get some more repairs for this thing because I'm just smashing it up. But as uh, things get more demanding, I think I might upgrade. Like, I'm using a Class C Swift truck at the minute. I might go up to a Class B if I can raise the money, but it's like a hundred grand for a truck. That's going to be a big target for myself, but maybe when we're doing the other objectives for this star, I might save up the funds so I can do it. And there's a service station way over there. Just doing its service station thing. Don't look, looks like it ain't really taking a lot of trade tonight. Oh well. When I'm back on the road, going that way, you'll see me there. I'm, a, I'm a, about a half tank of fuel right now, so I, th I think I could probably make it to Bordeaux. I'll probably next fill up where's just as I'm leaving Bordeaux next episode. But I think I might actually need to stop at the next petrol station for another nap. Um, it may be midnight, but my guy's stamina is straining so quickly. He's only been on the road for about, I don't know, f two, maybe five hours. And his stamina's already draining really quickly, you know. I wish there was a way to upgrade my driver, like, I don't know, give him, like, a, like, drip feed him coffee or something through one of those things you attach to hospital patients. So we're basically injecting coffee into his bloodstream so he'll never go to sleep. Or inject stay awake pills into his bloodstream as well. Create the ultimate being full of horrible artificial energy. And we'll just make Frankenstein drive this thing, actually. Not Frankenstein himself, of course, because he's a bloody old man, and who, who the fuck flies a hot air balloon at night? But, um, you know, like, Frankenstein's green monster dude. I don't think that thing ever needs sleep. You just put a few energy vaults in it, and we can have it go. You know, the thing is, it's monstrously thick. But then again, I'm monstrously thick, so you know what? I think Frankenstein's monster would be a better driver than... Mr. Blue Shirt, horrible moustache, I need to sleep all the time because it's my human rights guy. Because he refuses my methods of drip feeding him coffee into his blood bloodstream as well as stay awake pills. And I want to be on that road over there. That road looks really interesting. There's something 
there's something cool going on on it and I need to be on it right now I mean look that road even comes with a windmill does this road come with it? no it comes with a horrible blue shed over there with a wind pump a motherfucking wind pump <laughs> Right, we're getting close to Bardo, we're just about to hit the service station just outside Bardo. Um I am doing about fifty miles an hour right now, but that's only because we're downhill. The engine is actually threatening to pack up right now. Uh we are basically whenever this truck goes uphill, I'm struggling to do about thirty. So this truck is really having some issues here, but it's two AM. Uh for some reason my guy's vampirism has just gone into straight up stupidism. Uh, mainly because, well, now he just wants to sleep all the time. Basically, my guy does not enjoy being awake, so it's some sort of anti-being awake vampirism. Anyway, it's morning now, um, so let's back out. Um, that, no, that truck isn't salmon, that truck's brown. I was going to say, is that my rival? No, it's brown, but there's a very pretty lady on it. I mean, look, let's just angle up. Now, now it looks like she's, uh, no, back, back up a bit. There we go. Now it looks like she's staring at my trucker, going, God, what an ugly fuck. Right, let's drive away from the creepy face truck, because I don't like it very much. Anyway, we're approaching Bordeaux now. Um, the French city, uh, somewhat significant, because it somehow made it into this game. I literally know nothing about France, apart from the fact Paris is in it, and Joan of Arc was there. And that the English don't like it very much, but yeah. Um, yeah. Getting close to Bordeaux, Lisboa, and Madrid are to the north. And there could be some garlic hordes just marching around here, just waiting for me to crush them. Me and me bro, Flavius Julius. But yeah, let's not cross game universes right now, let's just get into Bordeaux. Time to enjoy. Oh no, I remember what Bord. Don't Bordeaux produce really nice wine or something? Like you hear Chateau de Bordeaux wine for my wife, who I plan to sex up later. Because France. I think that's what France does, doesn't it? It does, uh, it does the sex wine from Bordeaux. I think I've got this place all figured out. Though the engine is going to pack up any minute. Like I, I've, I've got like I've like got the W key just slammed all the way down, and this truck just does not feel like it's performing today. I mean, we're doing about 40. Normally, I'm getting about 60 out of this truck. So yeah, once we have Amsterdam, once we have access to Amsterdam, we do need to we do need to get our um, we do need to get our <laughs> repairs done. Just getting closer into Bordeaux, oh, you can see the town in the background. Just being a town, and. Yep. Uh, oh, shit, that's the sign gone. It's alright, police. I did not knock the sign over. It was a guy in a big salmon truck with a blue cargo. That's how I'm gonna get my revenge. Hey, shut up! Who's honking? Who was honking? Someone who's a nasty. Oh, why am I? Yeah, I should have switched my lights off. That is not good for saving on fuel. But right, it's straight on to um, reach uh, Trado. Just got to get round this corner. And look, I want to drive. I want to drive into Central Bordeaux. Actually, it looks like it looks so nice. You know, there's probably some game designer who's. Oh, <laughs> there's been an accident as well. Uh, you know, looks, there's probably some game designer who spent ages rendering in all these buildings, or just least painting a big grey block to look like a building. But you know. I kind of wish I could drive into these cities a little better than just driving in this little shithole industrial estate. But maybe the, maybe the new cities will unlock will offer something a bit more for us and I just nearly nosedived into a wall, but it's alright. Now I'm going to do my least favourite bit of the game, which is reversing to these fucking parking spots. Apparently I'm not just allowed to leave the trailer wherever I want. I have to leave it where everyone else wants it to be. And I've probably damaged this cargo, by the way. Here we go, that's nice, come on, come on, there we go, ooh, no damage, ah, oh, I thought I damaged the truck when that, 
idiot skidded off it, the salmon man. Should I forgive him? Nah, I'm not going to forgive him because I hate him. But anyway, we've got a nice income. And... Oh, no! 800? No! No, 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 no! We lost too much money! I don't have enough in Evelyn's! I hate everything right now. Right, excuse me, I'm going to go kill myself. Um, see you on the next episode.